The political situation in Halamshiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. It is a great pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor Lavellen. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. And which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. The handsome, charming one, of course, my lady. <laughs> I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. I can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. You're a woman after my own heart, my lady. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briala, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? An elf savage! Oh, make a forbid! This is Gaspard's idea of a joke. I should look. You there! Rabbit! Have you seen a ring anywhere? It was a gift from the Countess Montbelliard, enchanted by the Fomari. I cannot go into the ball without it. Is this ring particularly valuable? Its worth in coin is not as important as its social value. It was a gift from a member of the Council of Heralds. If she finds out I lost it, she will never forgive me. Not even if I live to be a thousand years old. That's a terrible predicament. If the Comtesse finds out, make her have mercy. Should you happen upon it, I beg you, let me know. going to do if I cannot find my ring? Is this the ring you are looking for? You are a treasure! I cannot believe you found it! You have saved me a lifetime of mortification! How can I thank you enough? Tonight, Gaspar will ruin us all. This is a private conversation. Please leave.
Interesting. Any word from the front lines? My spies said the bodies were beyond counting. Surely the Empress will put an end to the war tonight. Pray, my friend. If the Maker does not hear us now, just pray. Inquisitor was headed out of the fade by undressing. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up. Don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. You're just full of joy and light this evening. Everything will be fine. And Raste watch over us all. That the Inquisitor. A Dalish? No, that cannot be. It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. The guest wing is not open to the public at this time. What is Gaspar up to? It wouldn't surprise me if he brought the Inquisitor here into the frame. Good to know. Can Gaspar take the throne without the backing of the Council of Heralds? He plans to take it by force. If the Council won't recognize him, he'll march against them. Well, that's useful. Who does Orzammar favor in the negotiations tonight? King Edukun has put considerable coin behind the Empress in hopes the trading foodstuffs will resume quickly. How long can Orzammar hold out with trade disrupted? We have reserves of food supplies to last a few months, but the king wants trade resumed before panic starts.
Is there any progress on the Helmi expedition to Akkara? Alps base remains steadfast in all, all attempts to get into the tide. I heard the Grand Duke invited the Inquisition. I heard Celine was having the entire wing redecorated. But the timing is atrocious. Why would she do such a thing now? And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lady Inquisitor Lavellen. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. He is so full of it. That's not how it went. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Madame Vivienne, first enchanter of the Circle of Magi, enchanter of the Imperial Court, mistress of the Duke of Ghislaine, the Lady Inquisitor's elven serving man, Solus. Her ladyship, my balls each, of course. <laughs> Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Homley, commander of the forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, veteran of the Fifth Flight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and Left Hand of the Divine. And Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Let's hope the breeze does not herald an oncoming storm. Even the wisest mistake fair winds for foul. We are at the mercy of the skies, Inquisitor. How do you find Halam Shiral? I've never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time to take in some of its beauty. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Tell me, Yvette, uh, how are Mama and Papa? Are they in good health? Do they want for anything? Papa's perfectly happy in the studio. More servers in the bathroom. Mother is the everybody. same as always. Meaning she's after you to do more work. You always take her side. I don't take her side. 
I happen to think, as she does, you might attend to more of the estate's duties. Also, do stop slouching. Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this her? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antifa says so. Is it true? Those stories are little more than wistful thinking, my lady. Oh, how dull Redcliffe must have been then. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished a painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. And I must wait for your tutor's speech. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette. That's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship. But the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Go on, Josephine. Half a royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. I'll see you later. Another time. Can you believe the Inquisition filled its ranks with upper states? You just know that will end badly. How could the Empress afford to Crotch renovate up. the palace Beats without what going on? He's a sheep. I heard that it wasn't a renovations at all. Extra toes was damaged by what a fun, close marrying crowd. He fired on the Winter Palace. That's monstrous. Making any new friends? <laughs> Not likely. I'm watching them watch you. They're all glances and titters. Not sure if they're allowed to like you yet. Pathetic. Any hidden treasures from friends of your little network? You mean, do any of the servants burying tarts between these windy tits hate them enough to give up a stash or two? I'm not saying yes, but wait, yes I am. There's some good stuff hidden around. Keep an eye out. Any thoughts on who we're investigating? The Empress is pretty. It'd be fun to drink and kill stuff with Gaspard. Briala is friggin' funny. Elves, elves, elves. But it's really a pissing match with an old lover. Don't know the rest, but that explains a lot. They're all lying, but Celine's nice to look at. Good thing we're here to save her neck. Back soon. Not going anywhere.
And here we are. You haven't embarrassed yourself as much as I feared. Well done, my dear. I've always wondered, what's the Orlesian fascination with masks? We all wear masks, my dear, not just the people in Orlais. Who you are as a daughter, a lover, a friend, a very different people from the Inquisitor and Herald of Andraste. Orlesians codify this truth, make it visible. By giving each of these selves its own separate face, they believe they can be their truest selves unmasked. Any words of wisdom for navigating the ballroom? Speak to the Council of Heralds. Six of them are here tonight. The seventh member of the Council is indisposed. His absence will complicate the negotiations. The Council are the highest ranking players of the game. They see everything. They might know something we can use. Anything happening I should know? Cole is behaving even more oddly than usual. Someone should keep an eye on him. It seems like you enjoy this, Vivian. This is the game, Inquisitor. Of course I enjoy it. If I didn't, I'd be dead by now. Tell me, Vivian, where do you want the crown to fall? What I want is irrelevant, darling. Orle requires stability. And that is best served by Empress Selene. Be ready to act when I give the signal. Always, my dear. Laurent was the love of my life. You remember my husband? Poor darling. Killed in the war with Ferelden. Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. I'm a weak man. I had hoped to tour the Royal Wing Gardens again. I have heard they are the finest in the Empire. But such a pity the wing is sealed. Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? I'll let you know at once if I do. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Despard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. We'll talk later. I await your signal. What were they doing in the Western Approach? It's a wasteland. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Selene is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court, as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. 
the word lost much of its strength. You think she's controlling the minds of the court? That's powerful blood magic. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. There must be something here. Leave us. In the guest wing, upper room, the one of the garden statuette. I do adore the heady blend of power, intrigue, danger, and sex that permeates these events. Do you have any interest in dancing? A great deal. Although dancing with an elven apostate would win you few favors with the court. Perhaps once our business here is done. You seem more comfortable with a Grand Orlesian Ball than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Fae. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes change. Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Olesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself, for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. The food and drink are excellent, however, and the servants have been happy to refill my glass. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the elven servants, or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. I'll be back. And well. Gaspar is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win over the Council of Heralds now. He should have considered that before threatening to burn them all in their homes. Well, that's useful. Interesting. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. 
What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal and terrible and sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. Have you noticed anything strange this evening? My niece, Rorian, hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. Another time, my lord. Good to know. Inquisitor Lavelle, don't head into the servant's wing if you value your neck. Not one else gone in there tonight and come out again. Our man was supposed to make a pickup in the garden hours ago. Bastards are likely dead by now. Returned hours ago. He's dallying with some serving girl while I Your deal with Gaspar's vitriol. Your name was spite better than the rest of the council. Did you see that panic Tatashi roaming about? Awfully selfish of this filly, running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I've half a mind to inform the dowager. That would teach him to shirk his duties to roll some elven maid. The night of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspar's death threats to the council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening to me, Rand. You are too kind, Inquisitor. This way is closed. Please, use the main entrance to the bull room. Well, well. What's this? My lady! My lady Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three wear the masks of House Valmont. They signify that we are public faces of the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable. What's the message? <laughs> this is so exciting! Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. Let me guess. All she wants in return is for me to help her defeat the Duke. Oh. This is not meant as a bargain by any means, Inquisitor. The support of the Empress is not conditional. It will be yours once the negotiations are concluded. The Empress is the most skilled diplomat in Thedas. Gaspar is hopelessly out of his depth. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor.
You must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's spat up estate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heel, if you ask me. Did you need something? If I heard correctly, you'd like to stop the rebel mages. We share a common goal. I thought you had forged an alliance with the rebel leader Fiona. The rebels have been reined in. They will be kept under watch. My student will contact your ambassador. I have skilled people who could be put to great use. Gentlemen. Might be something here. Better take a closer look.
That's the bell. I should get back to the ballroom. That would be the second bell. Fashionably late now. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? I'm here on important business concerning the entire Empire. As am I, it seems. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I hope so. I could use another ally here. A sentiment I share, considering recent events. Recent events? Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. I may find the time to try a door or two. Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting. Where are Albon and Colette? Who cares? Is that Marquis Etienne? He's fiendishly handsome. Lord. Lady Inquisitor. I'd like your opinion of this gathering, my lady. It's doomed to fail, of course. Selene knows that. Hmm. At least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. A shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well versed in the game. But you have other dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me a dance for later? Good evening, my lady. Maximilian swept me. Mistress Nightingale. 
What a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. <laughs> Marquis, it's been far too long. How's your family in Val -Chavin? No complaints, my dear, no complaints. You must come to the chateau to see the girls. They will be overjoyed. Oh, I've missed them very much. Little Sylvie must be ten now, no? Eleven. And already up to my elbow. Oh, how they grow. Perhaps I shall call on you soon. Excellent. Now I must dance with the Dowager. It was lovely to see you. Look at Lady Cambian's slippers, trimmed with pearls and emeralds, and those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. There's a Devinter assassin on the loose and you're concerned about buckles on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps. This is Halam Shiral Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this? The smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? What we need most of all is a stable Ole. Either Celine or Gaspard can give us that. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. Have you seen anything interesting? Oh, yes. Halam Shiral is lousy with scandals and scheming. But no sign of our Tevinta infiltrator, I'm afraid. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Duke Gaspard has made all the fortune to us. Inquisitor, to what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. I'd like to know more about the negotiations. It seems strange to hold peace talks during a ball. Oh, do your people have no customs surrounding great occasions? How sad. By Orlesian tradition, moments of great solemnity are celebrated with revels and feasts. While joyous occasions are given time for reflection and contemplation. We must never forget that life is both bitter and sweet. The ball is an opportunity to celebrate life and hope for the future, while we mourn those killed in the war. What can you tell me about the other parties involved in the talks? Gaspard is a decorated general. Much beloved by the Imperial Army, and a legend among Chevaliers. He is better suited to the battlefield than the throne, and he would gladly make his palace a war camp. He's also fiendishly charming. Lady Briella has great intentions to change the lives of the Elves for the better. 
Even if her plans could never work and would only provoke hate crimes against alienages. She is an idealist, but her lack of patience could prove disastrous. What is the Empress trying to accomplish with the negotiations? Peace is her only objective, Inquisitor. Gaspar and Briala are driven by personal ambitions, but those desires threaten the safety of all Orlesians. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the larger crisis. If the evening ends favorably for the Empress, how does the Inquisition benefit? Her Imperial Majesty brings the might of the Orlesian Empire with her friendship. She is also a respected diplomat and world leader. She can forge alliances for you with Rivain, Antiva, the Underfels. And she throws the best parties. Perhaps you could tell me something then. We haven't been properly introduced. How rude of us to forget. Milady Inquisitor. May I present Lady Couteau? And Lady Colombe. And of course, Lady Fleur. We are the Empress's ladies in waiting. I'd like to know more about Empress Celine. Her Majesty has held the throne since she was just 16 years old. She is respected and beloved, not just in Orlé, but across Thedas. She doesn't care much for liver, and she drinks her tea black. My investigations turned up something interesting. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. Inquisitor Lavella, how many of the guests have mistaken you for a kitchen servant? You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? You might be interested in what I've found. I want to know more about the peace talks. What can you tell me about Celine and Gaspard? Gaspard is a warmonger. He served in the war against Ferelden and fought a dozen skirmishes on the Navarran border. He's a simple man. Simple men aren't hard to manipulate. Selene is the voice of reason in the Empire. But reason is cautious. Reason looks for compromise. Reason doesn't choose radical change. However sorely it may be needed. I had a question about you, Briala. I'm an elf, Inquisitor. That should tell you everything you need to know about my life. I'm good at what I do. And so that matters. I will help my people no matter the cost. What's your story? How is an elf invited to the Empress's ball as an ambassador? Empress Celine and I have... history. There was a time when I put my spies at her disposal. She knows my qualifications. We had a falling out. Now we are negotiating to determine whether I return to her side in the war. I'm surprised you'd admit that, considering the circumstances. I know it's incriminating. Few harbor more resentment against Celine than I. But if she died after inviting me here, the court would certainly pin her death on me. An elf assassinating the Empress? Alienages across Orle, across all Thedas, would be purged. That cannot happen. I've been told you were romantically involved with the Empress. I didn't take you for a gossip monger, Inquisitor. I suppose your spies have already briefed you, so there's no point in pretending. Yes, Celine and I were lovers once, but we've gone our separate ways now. You might be interested in what I've found. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor.
My friend, come in, have a drink. What can I do for you? You've been busily charming the court, I see. I have a question about the peace talks. So what are you hoping to achieve at the negotiations? I intend to take back what is rightfully mine. Celine stole the crown through politicking. But I am the rightful emperor of Orlais. The empire has been mired in intrigue for too long. We need a clear course of action. What action did you have in mind? The empire is declining. We cannot allow Nevara and Ferelden to chip away our borders. I will see Orle return to glory as the strongest nation in Thedas. You intend to return to expansionism. I like to solve problems in the simplest manner, my friend. You didn't extend this invitation out of the goodness of your heart, Grand Duke. As you might have guessed, I'm not the most political man. If the nobles believe the Inquisition supports me, it will help in negotiations. And uh, I take joy in watching the scandalized expressions when they see us together. What can you tell me about Selene and Brianna? Brianna may be called ambassador, but she is purely a spy. She works towards some hidden agenda. Elves have no place in politics. Her presence here is suspicious. Celine is a skilled player in the game. She knows how to get her way with a few words and a smile. But the game is a farce. I will prove that a few hundred chevaliers are better than diplomacy. What will be going on in these negotiations? We will whittle one another down with words until we are bored into agreement. Celine will talk circles around us, that elf will glower and cast suspicion everywhere, and I will get very drunk. Somehow, by the time they stop serving drinks, our war will be ended. Politics, my friend. I get the distinct impression that you don't enjoy politics, Duke Gaspard. In Orlais, they call it the Great Game. They believe it is something you can play and win. But there are no winners. Like dogs playing Wicked Grace, it is a mockery of action. Give me a battlefield, Inquisitor. I will show you who the victors are. When I am Emperor, there will be changes. No more of this. Courtier's nonsense. The nobles may not like it, but after a few lose their heads, they'll fall in line. I'd like to know more about you. All of Ole knows my story. But you, my friend, are far too sensible to be Orlesian. The heart of it is simple. I am the rightful heir to the throne of Ole. But my cousin, Celine, is a politician, while I am a man of action. She charmed the Council of Heralds. They gave the crown to her, and while it looks fetching on her, I intend to take it back. So you intend to out-negotiate your cousin? It will take heroic effort on my part, Inquisitor. And a lot of brandy. The talks will take most of the evening. Make her willing, we will emerge triumphant. We'll speak later, Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend.
This could be worth checking out. Riddle of this crap. What fully qualified arsehole stops to kill a cook? They always kill the servants first, my dear. Otherwise, they could run and warn someone. Oh, sure. Reasonable, innit? Friggin' garbage! Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Whoever did this ought to be down here somewhere. was no servant. What was he doing here? This man was a council of Herald's emissary. Curious to find him here. That would appear to be Grand Duke Gaspard's insignia on the dagger. How curious. Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> something here.
An elven locket, stored away in a palace safe. Unwise, Selene. Fancy meeting you here. Couldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? Ambassador, we meet again. Your reputation for getting results is well deserved. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinta blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people, but you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's Emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers. But killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. The Empress needs to know what's going on. You can try to warn her. She won't believe anything from me. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. We'll hold the area. Thank you, Inquisitor. Knife-eared servant girl in the kitchen. The ginger. Keep talking. I am starting to believe I was there. I need to get one of those. Don't we all? That would be the second bell. Fashionably late now. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. I'm curious. What did you hear about the fight with the archdemon? They say the army of the Inquisition fought a desperate stand at Haven against the forces of an old god. In the thick of battle, you crossed swords with evil itself. The enemy had you outnumbered and caught. And you cast down a mountain upon the Archdemon and escaped. Even if a tenth of that is true, it's a remarkable feat. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. 
Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. There might be something here. Better take a closer look. Inquisitor Lavellon, we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orlé, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... A certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. Have the Dalish gained a sudden passion for politics? What do you know about our civil war? I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire as the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe, is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? If I've learned anything, Your Grace, it is to put my trust in no one. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlé. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. The Duchess had some interesting things to say. Of that, I have no doubt. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling.
Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Selene is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I thought we were here to stop the assassination. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais? More than that. Whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. We came here to save Selene. Then you must not only save her life, but also her empire. That means giving her a victory over both Gaspard and Briala. If there truly is proof Gaspard's in league with Corypheus, that would be a start. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. It's been too long since I've had any word from Valoyou. We meet again. Given any thought to what I said? I found an elven locket hidden among Selene's things. This isn't yours, is it? Let me see that. She kept this. What was she thinking? If Gaspard had found this, it would have ruined her. It might have meant something to her. Maybe it did. She held on to it. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. Is there something we may do for you? We do so enjoy speaking with you. We will speak to the Empress on your behalf. I made a fascinating discovery. An elven locket in the Empress's vault. Oh dear. That is very interesting. I'll get Her Majesty. Inquisitor, I regret that we did not have time to speak earlier. No doubt you have questions about many things. The locket I found. It was a gift from Briala, wasn't it? She gave it to me for my coronation. I don't know why I kept it. It was a foolish thing to do. What made the two of you part ways? She wanted change, and she thought I should deliver it. My word is law, Inquisitor, but laws don't command people's hearts. Culture does not transform itself overnight. I failed her. I should have dared more. But the past, like so many things, is beyond my command. Maybe you kept it because you still care for Briala. Perhaps I do. But I cannot put her above all the people of my empire. Dispose of the locket however you like. It means nothing to me. It is always good to see you, my friend. 
You seem better at making friends among the nobility than I. Well done. I discovered something you might be interested in. It's about you, in fact. Want to tell me why you were threatening the members of the Council of Heralds? The language of politics, Inquisitor. If you cannot bribe politicians, you threaten them into backing down. Most of the Council are Selene's lapdogs. There was little chance I could win their support any other way. There's a Council of Heralds emissary in the servants' quarters. Stabbed to death with your knife. No. That's impossible. Who would try to pin such a crime on me? The elf? It seems unlike Selin. I have the orders issued to your general to sneak troops into the palace. Of course I did. The Winter Palace is hardly neutral ground for our peace talk. I would be disappointed in Selene if she were not using this opportunity to set a trap. And while we rarely agree on anything, I have never yet been disappointed in our Empress. We'll speak later, Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend. prevails tonight. Gaspar will ruin us all. Inquisitor Lavellon, is there something I can do for you? I am Lady Marcelette, court historian to Her Imperial Majesty. What exactly does a court historian do? I am responsible for the historical records of the court. I maintain our library and record all official proceedings. Are you here to chronicle the events of the evening for posterity? Oh, yes! This is a momentous occasion. The first meeting between the Grand Duke and Her Majesty since the war began. Even if, Maker forbid, the talks should fail, it is an important moment in the history of the Empire. Good evening, Lady Marcelette. Another time, perhaps. Investments seem to be paying off. War encourages armies to borrow coin. No one wants to lose their country because they were afraid of interest rates. Interesting. Well, that's useful. Emissaries to Cal Shorak have yet to return. I doubt they find them alive. So Balin decided to reach out to them after all? Not directly. The emissaries came from the Merchant Guild, but the expedition was financed by the King. Your investments seem to be paying. useful.
thank you. Are you all right? I'm... I... I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace? Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian? It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Chiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. If there's a reason you distrust Briala, I want to hear it. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Something like that could destroy Briala, if it were known. No. Some know she has a... a history with the Empress. But they believe she was just a favored servant. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our... Ambassador. Knew it. I did. And I bet the hate made it feel real good. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. What's this then? Swapping all the gold leaf with diamonds, I bet. You painted on lazy and assholes! When I get out of this, I'll butcher you like the pigs you are! Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my baits. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment, if you are looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Celine's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. You won't get away with this, Florian. <laughs> but I already have. 
In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. What was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Maker, bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Your accent sounds Ferelden. I thought you were one of Gaspard's mercenaries. Born and raised in Denerim. Seems like I should have stayed there. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight. But he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlay. Sticky. Fancy cheesemongers. Want a new job? One that pays better? The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment.
The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying, all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Celine, Gaspard, the entire Council of Heralds. All your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining. But you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspard? You cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspard? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private, elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spymaster. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you, you knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent, and failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. I wouldn't have caught Florian in time without Briala's help. You were working together. Of course. Thanks to Briala, Gaspard's mercenary captain will testify that he hired men to infiltrate the palace. Hired thugs? I didn't expect you to stoop so low, cousin. Don't be naive, Celine. The only difference between a mercenary and a common soldier is a uniform. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually you'll convince somebody. Here, I have the letter Gaspard penned to his general ordering his men into position inside the palace. Can you blame me? Considering what transpired, preparing to repel an attack was the course of wisdom. And of course, he made death threats to the Council of Heralds. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Celine. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. I think Ambassador Briala deserves some reward for uncovering all this. I can scarcely believe you did all this for me, Celine. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orle owes you its future. You have done so much, for my people and for us. 
We won't forget this. What will the two of you do now? There will be some changes to the court. Not just the court. Come, stand with us, Inquisitor. We must give the good news to the nobility. Lords and ladies of the court, this is a night for celebration. Those who sought to poison our empire with treason have been brought to justice. It is a new age for Orlais. We shall build a world in which all men and women live in harmony. Let the cornerstone of change be laid. I introduce the newest member of our court, Marquise Briala of the Dales. This is not just a victory in Halam Shiral, or within the Empire, or even for elves alone. This is a triumph for everyone! Over a thousand years ago in the Valerian fields, elves and humans together defeated the Imperium. We can do so much more now. We are greater than our ancestors ever dreamed. Together, we will start by saving our world from the enemy who took the Divine and tore the sky apart. This evening proves what we can accomplish through cooperation. We are already tracking these Tevinter agents. Soon they'll have no place to hide. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, we celebrate our newfound fellowship. Let the festivities commence! <laughs> The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. There's plenty of opportunity for that later. I wanted some air. I had no wish to interrupt your breathing, only to bring news. By Imperial Decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. Selene wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orlais and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, Thus, it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. I'm not surprised to find you out here. Thoughts?
It's been a very long day. For everyone, I'd imagine. It's nearly over now. Cullen's given the men their marching orders as we speak. Come, before the band stops playing, dance with me. I'd love to.